friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Two TV stars met in the soaps, and their marriage spanning over three decades is still going strong. Written by Heather Riggleman. Read by Julie Provost. In the glitzy realm of Hollywood, where tales of enduring love are often overshadowed by glimmering stardom, the heartwarming story of how Janie Francis married Jonathan Brax shines as a beacon of hope, love, and enduring faith. Two stars met in the soaps, and their 38-year love story is still going strong. As Janie reflects on the remarkable journey, spending nearly four decades, One is reminded that, indeed, love conquers all. Their story began on the set of Bare Essence, a fleeting moment in the vast landscape of Hollywood productions. Jeannie, fresh from her role as part of General Hospital's iconic super couple, and Jonathan, a seasoned actor, found themselves cast together, forging a connection that would withstand the test of time. In the sprawling 1985 Civil War miniseries, North and South, Jeannie and Jonathan's love story unfolded. Amidst the picturesque locations of Charleston and Natchez, their hearts intertwined and a love story for the ages began. The script for the show may have called for six hours of acting, but God had other plans, extending the tale to 12 hours and beyond. Jonathan recounts the serendipitous turn of events and how love blossomed against the backdrop of a tumultuous era. The couple found solace and strength in each other's arms. Somehow, she took a chance on me because I was like number 37 on the call sheet on North and South, and she was up there with Patrick Swayze and Leslie Ann Down. So why she would go out with me is a mystery, he said. Love's transformative power became evident as they navigated the peaks and valleys of Hollywood, and Jeannie's star shining bright, and Jonathan finding his own iconic role in Star Trek as they weathered the storms of showbiz Supporting each other through thick and thin, their love story became a testament to the enduring power of faith and commitment. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, Jonathan and Jeannie stand tall as a classic showbiz couple, united not just by marriage, but by an unwavering partnership on life's grand stage. Their marriage is a legacy they hope to leave their children and for those who hold marriage as a sacred union. The tale of how Jeannie Francis married Jonathan Frakes is a reminder that love, when nurtured with faith, defines all odds. As they continue their journey, with Jeannie making a rare appearance in Hallmark's A Biltmore Christmas, their enduring love story becomes an inspiration for those seeking solace in the transformative power of love. In a world where fairy tales often seem elusive, Jonathan Frakes and Jeannie Francis invite us to believe, through God, love indeed conquers all. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. She fled to escape an arranged marriage to her cousin and ended up finding her calling. Written by Hallie Wells. Read by Julie Provost. In order to escape an arranged marriage to her cousin, Amna Safar fled home at only 19 years old, and it ended up putting her right where she was meant to be. Amna Safar had no choice but to abandon her home and family. It was the only way to escape the arranged marriage planned for her. But that's a pretty big burden for a young, Pakistani american woman. Raised in an immigrant home in Maryland, Hamna was accustomed to always meeting her parents' expectations. Nonetheless, Hamna had dreams of her own that involved building a career in the United States Air Force, not marrying her cousin in Pakistan, and becoming a wife and mother before she ever gained her independence. Hamna never expected she'd be asked to submit to an arranged marriage. As a child, she heard her parents 
comment that she would be allowed to get an education, but ultimately she would marry and make a home with a man of her choosing. However, Hamna thought that they would change their minds after being in American culture for those years. She told people, I was just expecting my family to kind of get used to the culture in the United States. Growing up, they never really mentioned arranged marriage, so it dumbfounded Hamna. When while on a 2019 family trip to Pakistan, she realized her engagement was the reason for the trip. Hamna was a freshman in college at the time. She stated, I thought it was a normal family trip to Pakistan, then I saw the jewelry, the dresses. I was stepping into my 20s, and they wanted to make sure I knew I was engaged and not laying eyes on other guys. Her husband-to-be was perfectly happy with the plan, but Hamna was beside herself. She endured the rest of the vacation simply trying to figure out what was happening and how to change the course of her life. When Hamna's family returned to the United States, she tried to discuss the arrangement with her mother, but clearly her family not embraced American culture at all. When Hamna's parents learned of her plan to escape the arranged marriage, she knew she had to take action. The help of a Navy recruiter, Hamna began staying at a budget hotel until she would be allowed to enlist. During the waiting, the pandemic struck, and Hamna nearly lost her resolve. She was broke and weary, and she knew that she would lose all contact with her parents and beloved sisters should she move forward. That's when a college friend asked Hamna, to move in with his family. With their help, Hamna was able to finish her associate degree and finally enlist in 2022. During that time, Oscar Abura and his wife Claudia Barbera became adoptive parents to Hamna. They sent Hamna off to boot camp and they were with her when she graduated from basic training. At a petite, five two tall, Hamna has her work cut out for her. The physical demands and the mental challenges tested her beyond what she thought she could do. However, Hamna is determined and committed to her dreams. Oscar Abrera reminded his worried wife, she's tiny, but she's strong. Even though Hamna is sad that her parents didn't see her graduate and haven't responded to her attempts to contact them, she does have support from others. In addition to Oscar and Claudia and her fellow airmen, Sergeant Robert Stewart and his wife have taken Hamna under their wings. Sergeant Stewart said, I told her she just needed someone to believe in you. She's not like any other airman. Her demeanor and her story, she's like a gem. Regarding Hamna's family, Claudia Barbera said, I hope they realize the mistake they are making by pushing their child aside. Hamna is going to be what Hamna wants to be. And that's the beauty of the USA. That you get to choose who you want to marry and what kind of life you want to live. Today, after managing to escape an arranged marriage... Airman Hamna Safar protects New Mexico's Kirkland's Air Force Base as an Air Force security defender. Thank you for your service, Airman Zafar, and thank you for your sacrifice. So if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right and trust your lives to God who created you, for he will never fail you. 1 Peter 4.19 Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.